questions from uh, physics, mathematics, uh, basic knowledge about space. There's also one question about the biggest uh, um, moon of Jupiter. And it was, it, it was a bit challenging. I don't know if I got it right, but I, I got to advance to the next um, portion or the next challenge, which, which happened around a month after that whole selection through email. So uh, after that, um, the next step was an obstacle course. So they designed this obstacle course in um, Taguig, in the fort, if you're familiar. It's in an open field, a lot of mud, um, a lot, 400 contestants from around the Philippines attended this um, event. And I guess, luckily, or I was blessed enough to pass that portion of the test and move on to the next, por uh, next portion, which is the top 50. So within that top 50, uh, what we had to do was something called um, the last man standing. Yeah, so it's basically um, standing and balancing on something which lasted, which, which lasted from an hour, two hours. And from 2 o'clock, we finished close to 5 p.m. Uh, uh, holding up a 15-pound plate and being able to maintain a pose for about roughly 15 to 45 or a minute. 15 seconds to a minute. So yeah, it was a challenge not only to um, test our fitness but also to test how much we could push ourselves uh, within. Because of course, uh, those kinds of things you don't really, you can't really prepare for. So um, yeah, next up is Space Camp. Uh, I guess I was lucky enough to represent and be the part, be part of the three Filipinos that would be go going to Florida to participate in the Global Axe Apollo Space Challenge or Space Camp. So in, in Florida, what happened was we had series of te series of tests again. Uh, from from day one, I remember we'd have a sort of boot camp style uh, workout where we'd run around, do different drills from the, a drill sergeant, and then after that, we move on to touring. So we'd go around, see we, we went around to see NASA, and they gave us a short short, short introduction about all the spaceships, uh, the historic um, launches, and all the historic figures in space travel. So again, uh, I, I, I believe that there was going to be a test, so luckily I took down notes. And a couple of my friends actually helped me out. Like I, I won't forget some of my friends in Space Camp that really reviewed with me until we got to the aptitude test. So that was on the last day though. Uh, during Space Camp, we got to ride this centrifuge. Uh, I'm not sure if you're familiar. It spins around, you, you, you sit down inside, you spin around, uh, you reach up to around three, four Gs inside. And once you get out, you're supposed to recite six digits, which would be given to you before you enter the whole the, the capsule. So, yeah, uh, it's not just a challenge that you should just Hold on while you're inside, but also remember what you what what was given to you right before the task. Uh, another another one that I enjoyed the most was the air combat mission. So we got to ride the Marchetti. Uh, it's a fighter jet or a more aero a a acrobatic jet. Aerobatic, I'm sorry. So it was designed to well, basically pinapahilo po kami. Opo. Pinasok po kami, tapos the, the pilot just did a lot of different maneuvers just to see if our body is capable in adapting into those maneuvers that would potentially that we would potentially encounter in landing back in on Earth. Okay, um, that was beautiful for me. Uh, I wouldn't really, I'd, I'm very passionate about talking about this experience because this was the one that I look forward to the most being able or being being connected to flying. Um, yes, you need help? Okay, and that was unforgettable because I got to ride a jet and not only do that, but also I got to fly a jet for the first time. So we were, we were basically just taught how to, how to move the yoke from left to right and just learn how to enjoy the ride actually. So that was, that was, that was great for me. Uh, one more, one more challenge that I'd like to share to everyone would be the 